Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sean McGinnis. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Capital 54, a family office that invests in boutique professional services firms. I'm also the former president of the group called YPO, the Young Presidents Organization, which is 30,000 CEOs around the world, uh, and the former president of the Entrepreneurs Organization, EO, which has about 14,000 young entrepreneurs in its ranks. I'm a new national board member of YCP. I'm a lifelong Catholic, and very engaged with my wife, Maria, who serves on the Latin American Council of the University of Notre Dame. We have a wonderful 17-year-old daughter, Sophia, and my favorite friend in the world, my dog, Molly. I'm really excited about the subject that I've been asked to speak on, which is the people side of career management and why personal connections relative to your career are pivotal now more than ever. So as you saw from my brief bio, I've spent the last 30 years in organizations where collaboration where relationships and where connecting enable a group of people to really extend and dramatically expand their influence, both for their careers, uh, for their businesses, for themselves, and for their families, and most importantly, for their own personal development. So a couple of things have jumped out at me that I'd like to share with you. When you create connections based on shared interests and shared goals, you will be much more successful in your job and you will much more successfully engage people at a deeper level. And the reason for that is that people want to work with people they know, people who are authentic, people who meet them where they're at and people they like. So seven quick things I'd like you to remember. Firstly, focus on relationships rather than networking. And focusing on relationships means that you go deeper. Ask yourselves, what does true friendship feel and look like to you? What does a true friend do for you? How does a true friend have your back? How does a true friend help you in your career? And how does a true friend help you resolve issues? The third element is true and deep connections must be built with care and attention. Think about your wake. And I refer to this and use the analogy of a speedboat going down a lake constant pressure, constant uh, acceleration that leaves a very smooth wake behind it. What does your wake look like in terms of building those foundational connections and relationships that will help you in your career? Is it smooth? Is it consistent? Have you taken the time? Taking the time to develop relationships well means that you value the other individual so be patient, be intentional, be open. It's difficult in today's world to make FaceTime a priority, but I would strongly advise you to do this. Making FaceTime enables you to connect at a deeper level. It enables you to pick up on the nonverbal cues. It enables you to listen. It enables you to probe. It enables you to look at how an individual is reacting to how you are. The fifth one is collaboration over competition. If we help each other, we all rise and grow together. This is not a race, it's a marathon. This is not about getting more or having more. It's about connecting and helping because that is a force multiplier. The sixth is very important. Give back with generosity. Give before you expect to receive anything in return. Ask what you can do for somebody. Ask what you can do to help them in their careers. Ask them what you can do to help them 
in an area where you may have access to a solution or to a resource or to something that's meaningful to them and get ready to receive so much more in return. The seventh and final lesson that I've learned is by diversifying my relationships outside of my comfort zone, it's enabled me to connect with people that I had never thought that I would connect with before. Now, I have had the pleasure of working in over 130 countries with thousands of people, and I have found that stretching myself outside of my comfort zone, reaching across the proverbial aisle, and it's not just about race and gender and understanding different religions. It's about stretching into professions that you don't know much about. It's finding areas of interest outside of your own that you can become conversant in. And most importantly for me, it's understanding the world at large. Because after all, we're all humans. As Carl Sagan says in a wonderful YouTube video called The Dart, he illustrates how we as human beings are literally interconnected on this tiny planet which he calls a dart, in this giant universe. We're not that different, but we only know what the similarities are that we have when we explore them deeply. So three things that'll help you do that. Show up by doing what you say you're going to do. Your friends and your new relationships will appreciate that. Finish what you start. That's all about commitment. Commitment to yourself and your own growth and commitment to your relationships. And the final one, always be on time. I hope you'll find some nuggets here you can use on your personal journeys. And I wish you the best as you grow your relationships. I'd also like to finish with a refrain that I use every day and helps me think differently about people. May you be filled with love, and kindness. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be free of suffering and may you be happy. May God bless you and keep you. Get involved in YCP, get involved in the YCP forums, extend yourself in the area of relationships and I promise you it'll be a force multiplier in your career. Take good care.